Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff Sutton with the Collector Car Network, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 1987 Peterbilt semi-truck that is attached to a limousine trailer known as the Midnight Rider that can hold up to 40 passengers in comfort. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. Okay, so I'm in front of the Midnight Rider, which has a 1987 Peterbilt truck with a 435 horse Cummins powering the Midnight Rider trailer, which was built in 2004 there in the back for about $2.5 million. Now, in the front here, uh, this Peterbilt, like I said, it's gonna be about 435 horse. This thing is able to pull that trailer up to 90 miles an hour, which weighs about 25 tons uh, on level ground. Now, at about a 6% grade, it falls to about 40 miles miles an hour but that means you can take your party wherever you want because this thing has a fuel tank capacity of about 300 gallons meaning you could drive from Chicago to San Diego without having to refuel now if you had to refill this thing from stock you'd be looking at a thousand dollars to fill up the entire tank on this thing and if you were looking to rent the Midnight Rider to take it cross country you would have been looking at a price of a thousand dollars an hour while it was operating now of course it's now up for auction here so we'll have to see ultimately what it sells for but it's a pretty unique vehicle being that it has the heaviest limousine ever 25 tons in the back so now that we've kind of established what the midnight rider is let's go take a look at the 40 capacity limousine section of the trailer and see what the luxurious interior is like Okay, so now we're actually on the inside of the Midnight Rider, and wow, there is a lot going on in here. So first, let's talk a little bit about of the inspiration for what was to build this crazy contraption here, pulled by a semi-truck. So first, just to get started, this was inspired by a lot of these bespoke train coaches that would actually be used to haul luxury and high echelon like personnel uh, across the various uh, parts of the country essentially just like the presidents were and this was built with a semi truck so it has a little bit more freedom and can be taken even more places so much so that this actually has a 300 gallon fuel tank that allows it to go from Chicago to San Diego without refueling and what a way to travel so if we start checking things out in here and see what we're going on, obviously we've got a big sofa area. And remember, this is meant to hold as many as 40 people. So behind me, you'll notice a couple different things. We actually have a bar just below me here. You can see some of the bottles and things stacked. And then in the top, we actually have a viewing area, tons of TVs spread everywhere, lots of bespoke work, lots of custom woodwork, all put into this tiny area with a lot of really cool themes uh, to sort of fill everything out. Now this has about four rooms for a total of about 416 cubic feet of space for everything that's spread throughout this crazy Midnight Rider contraption. And because it's so big, there's actually a phone set, like a phone setup essentially, an intercom setup if you will, that is set up so that all of the rooms can communicate. So let's say you're hanging out in the lounge and you want another drink, you can just go ahead and go over to your intercom, hit the button and get another drink brought up to you, whatever the case is. But what a way to travel in style. This thing is absolutely ludicrous. There's stairs, there's so many different levels, different rooms, the fact that the bar has actually three seats available just looking at it is pretty impressive obviously you would need a fully stocked way to move around but the best part is is because you know that you have your designated driver at the front you don't have to worry about how many drinks you have while you're having a good time in the back like I said traveling all the way from Chicago to San Diego if you wanted to travel that far so really there's no shortage of features here and obviously with the TVs and everything I imagine a lot of those road trips would just fly right by so this is a really cool way to travel I picture it again I you know, similar to the Smokey and the Bandit style of being able to just get across state lines, whatever you're doing, going across, and there's even speakers everywhere, making this the ultimate party mobile. And you even have rooftop access. Let's say you were parked at an event, for an example, you could actually get on top to the roof pretty easily if you're not too busy getting bored of lounging in this very luxurious interior, which has so much brass and detail to it. This is just really one vehicle. There's nothing like it. This is the largest limousine of its kind. Again, weighing in at 25 tons. And that big uh, Peterbilt, the 1987 Peterbilt 379, that's up front, has a 385 horse, uh, 485 horse Cummins engine to pull this thing up to 90 miles an hour on flat and about 45, 40 miles an hour on a 6% grade. So 
pretty impressive vehicle. Obviously it makes for a great trip uh, when you're going through everything, but man, what a vehicle. There's nothing like the Midnight Rider, so can't wait to see what this thing sells for. But if you're interested in getting a collector vehicle for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction with cars going live every single weekday, and classiccars.com, which is our online marketplace with over 30,000 vehicles live at the site at any time. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for us. We'd really appreciate it. And get subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Comfort. So this is the ultimate stealth way, almost smoky in the bandit-like, in terms of what's capable of this truck for transporting you across to wherever you want to go. So next, let's go take. That's a cool shot. Would have been if someone didn't poke their head in here. <laughs> Case, can we get that out of post? Let's cut his head out, please. Here, take two. <laughs> be a good time to tell you case that you don't need to uh i can go stand and block the door <laughs> excuse me sir don't poke your head in here <laughs> filming we're filming <laughs>